He also threw in Chris Marshall, Devin Price, saying every single one of our guys are playmakers. We can't wait to see what they can do today. To Lou Griffin, watches the ball sail over his head. This is the 16th meeting. State leads 8-7. They're 5-5 five and five against each other in the SEC. Roger steps up underneath and it's dropped. It was to Lou Griffin. Really unique. Look at this defensive front. Only two committed to the line of scrimmage. A chain out of the backfield drilled by DeCamrion Richardson. I'm sure Antonio Johnson may let him know, hey man, that's a pick for me. Third and 14 now for Rodgers. And he gets it down to the 42, maybe the 43 to Marks. This is only A&M's seventh trip to the red zone in five games. It's one of the lowest totals in college football. A-Chain finds another huge hole. He fumbles the ball, though, and it's picked up by the Bulldogs. Hey, Richardson, have yourself a day, buddy. Watch Duncan. He's raking. That ball's already out. He was still raking for it. The ball was out early. Rodgers throws the one-on-one -on -one ball, and it's a great catch by Rara Thomas. Now it's Price getting the block. First down Bulldogs inside the Aggie 40. Plenty of time on that play clock for Will Rogers. And that is his 900th completion of his collegiate career. Second and 10 Bulldogs at the 28. Dylan Johnson right through the big hole. First down Bulldogs near the 11. And by himself at the top of the screen again. It's third and three. He's going to try it again, and he's got it. How effective the Bulldogs have been in the ground game. Rodgers will go back to the air and dump it off for a first down. Past midfield to the 47 goes Justin Robinson for 18 more. And Price hits the hole hard and gets down near another first down for 10 more. Since this team averages 80 yards rushing a game. The Aggies have to fight. Now they have to battle two different modes of moving the football. Could be four down territory. Third and five. Rodgers won't need another down. It's a first down to Tulu Griffin and it's first and goal Bulldogs. Rodgers, the catch made. Touchdown! Rufus Harvey gets that right hand in. Oh of one on the red in the red zone. They fumbled the first time they were down here. Johnson can't take a snack. It's fumbled and picked up. Buki Watson caused it, and Tyrus Wheat recovered it. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. First down, Mississippi State. Please reset the game clock to four seconds. Still four. State's been attacking the A gaps. First down, A-chain, flying through those holes. Down to the Bulldogs, 41, 16 more. Aggies roster filled with them in 2022. Last other two drives into the red zone, came away empty due to turnovers. Low snap, A-chain, doesn't slow him down. First and goal, Aggies at the eighth. Johnson, cut, no, it's, oh, it's dropped. Evan Stewart, Randy Bond to put the Aggies on the board from 24 yards. And finally, Texas A&M has some points in an entire game. And here we are 
in the middle of the third quarter. Back to the air raid. It's ducking. Scored a touchdown and coughed up the ball. And here's Texas A&M's chance. On some short fields. Then they stage a drive, get down and get a field goal. Mississippi State is going to gift them great field position. Ducking didn't really ever put that ball away. Look at it. Got it all nice and loose. Had it in both hands there for a second. Defensively, especially here. A-chain goes backwards. Sherman Timms. Timms. And it's blocked. It's picked up. DeCambrian Richardson. State with pressure again inside. First down to Muhammad, and he's free. Down inside the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of 37. Bruce, of course, had that incredible 14-year career for the Bears and the Panthers. Johnson slings it to the sideline to Stewart for another first. Johnson to Muhammad. Touchdown. To the middle of the field, but Robinson was wide open. Dump it off this time, and it's another first down for Johnson, who gets into Aggie territory. Rodgers, wide open. It's Harvey. Rodgers. Robinson is stoned at the one, but it'll be right near another first down. He's on the edge. Johnson, touchdown. He was hit in the backfield, but he fell forward for six. Incredibly young football team that they're having to grow up real time. Here's a pass to Muhammad, who gets near the 30, where Wheat makes the tackle. He basically gave us his wide receiver room. That's the guys that needed to step up. Muhammad here in the second half doing so. Max will dump it off to Marshall, one of those true freshmen. He's got a first down past the 40. It is 60, almost 60 underneath their average. Johnson's not going to get this one off. Javon Banks and J.P. Purvis. Greet each other in the backfield. Was ejected due to targeting. Max steps up. Good ball. And it's Muhammad with a first down catch near the 40 yard line. This is third and manageable. Keep in mind, Haynes King, probably the fastest team player on this Aggie team. A chain gets the handoff from Haynes, and it's a first down. Haynes. Now can Haynes King help this offense complete this drive? Keeps it himself. There's that speed you're talking about. And it's a first down to the 17. On fourth down, King will run and score. Still in there right now, guys. All right, Haynes King just scoring the touchdown. Coming off the bench for him. And back to the air goes Rodgers. Caught! Rara Thomas! Goodbye! Nice run after the catch. 26 yard gain, and that's intercepted. Emmanuel Forbes. Hey, look what I found. Although they kind of drowned themselves out with the Cowboys. Tradition they started a few years ago, and it's become a fourth quarter stable at Davis Way. There's Ra Ra Thomas getting this ball for 134 yards and a touchdown. Woody Marks, first down run, inside the 30. Sweet second longest in Mississippi State history. Artie Cosby still with the record from 54. And, and I got to tell you, looking at their two deep, it is remarkable how many young players are on this field. Johnson 
Pipkin, another pick by Forbes, and he takes it to the house, hits his fourth career pick six. No one in SEC history has more pick sixes than Emmanuel Forbes. Well, he got, stay in bounds, though. Uh, it looked like he did. Uh, he might have tapped out right as he made the catch. You see the center judge is like, look, you sub. He contests the sub. Corral over. That's his first, excuse me, LJ Johnson. There was no consistency in that regard, though. He's always under the rest most of this afternoon. And here comes a flag in looking for Moose Muhammad. Pass interference, defense, number 44. Well, the dogs last week, people talk about the way they underperformed. I don't think they ever punted. They didn't on offense. Probably dropped three touchdowns. Johnson is down to the one. Mississippi State defense. Still trying to defend that end zone. And Johnson scores the touchdown. The FBI actually says it's the second toughest schedule in America. This is the best start, though, a four and one start for the first time since 2014. They won 10 games that year. They were number one in the country in the first ever college football playoff that season, and they might be back in the top 25 after this one. You know, outside of a, a rough second half, you're talking about a team in Mississippi State that could be looking at an unblemished record. They could build on this victory over AM. Two years in a row now for Mike Leach and his Bulldogs.